after two of the children who suffered the most serious injuries from the blast yesterday. Well, they are on the mend. Their conditions were recently elevated from critical to serious. So that's very, very good news. Meanwhile, back here at the scene, if you can take a look behind me, they have now erected a wooden fence. It's where it's right there on that ground level where investigators discovered an illegal gas line there to service some washer machines and dryers. And at this hour, they're trying to determine if that played a role in yesterday's blast. Sofa cushions and baby toys remnants now piled up outside 1520 Paulding Avenue in the Bronx, where a gas explosion 24 hours earlier blew out doors and windows in the three story apartment. The blast so fierce it sent one of those doors flying onto power lines across the street. That this big boom happened and the bodies flew. They flew from where they were standing at. Neighbors like Norma Galarza, among those being held heroes, seen here cradling an infant who was thrown from a window to safety. That baby, along with another child, said to have suffered the most severe injuries from the blast. I just wanted to hold it until I knew that that baby was okay. As the investigation continues as to what caused the explosion, the Department of Buildings now shedding light on illegal plumbing work discovered inside the building. The DOB on Friday slapped violations on the property owner listed in city records as Trackside Homes LLC for an illegal gas piping system that serviced multiple washing machines and dryers installed on the ground floor. A man who is said to be affiliated with property management was at the scene Friday, claiming there have been no maintenance issues with the building reported in the past. What did you say to the family? I've already spoken to him. I don't need to tell everybody what I said. I gotta meet Con Edison and make sure we get to the bottom of it. In the meantime, as many as four families were displaced by Thursday's explosion, community advocate Wilda Cordero with the group Emergency Rights now doing what she can to help. Basically, they need help. They need, you know, I think we should get them to get them relocated and get them some furniture and some help. Now, the owner of the building has been ordered to have a full structural evaluation conducted on the entire building. In the meantime, some tenants in nearby units that did not suffer serious damage do remain there tonight. That's with no heat or hot water. We are live in the Morris Park section of the Bronx. I'm Andrew Ramos, Fix 11 News.